So hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Dubai. We are at the Altea Ferrari Service Center here in Dubai. It's one of the world's largest, and today we've been invited behind the scenes. Behind that glass there is one of the most impressive Ferrari facilities I have ever laid eyes on. And honestly, getting behind this door with a camera, as you'll see when we're walking around, there's basically no filming signs everywhere. So it's a real honor and a real privilege to be able to share this with you and some of the incredible cars which are inside that building including things like that. Let's do it. Okay, so the idea of today is to take you on two journeys. One, the client journey, and two, the car journey. And this is really unique, uh, because as the cars enter the building here, they're actually tagged with an RFID chip, which means they can track the car in the building, wherever it is, but importantly, the progress of its service. So when the client phones up and asks what stage it's at, they can just reference the car and bring it in. So things look like this. This is the handover bay, effectively. So in theory, cars come in and out here. They will be stored over here, waiting for them to go into a service, and they will line up here uh, when they are ready to roll out of the door. And we're gonna show you what takes place in between those two stages. That thing sounds well. I'm not sure if that's stuck or not, but it sounds brilliant. Pista Aperta here, casual. All right, so this is the kind of experience you get, beautifully whitewashed clarity and then you end up in a room like this now normally if you're a client you'd be greeted by a wonderful person working for the brand uh, immersing you in some fantastic coffee while you can uh, peruse the room really uh, looking at artifacts of all sorts of wonderful Ferrari items but the real special journey is what else you get to experience now I'm not aware of another Ferrari experience quite like this from all of the uh, showrooms and service centers I've been to so far stepping foot through the door here it's the most impressive one yet now check this out if you wanted to wander around as a client you could head look at this <laughs> It looks like something from Iron Man's headquarters. So you can come down here and these are all of the offices of the service advisors. We have deconstructed pieces of equipment here. So you can see how your carbon ceramic brakes and wishbone suspension system works on your Ferrari, always nice. And then you would have your consultation in rooms like this. So say, for example, you have something specific that you want to discuss on your car. Maybe you want to know how something works. Your consultation is in there. Now, what's really trick, and we've come full circle here, is, and this is something I've never seen, is this ramp here. So rather than a technician just explaining it to you, going, yeah, this is what we've done, you can, as a client, request your car, go on this ramp, and they will take your car up in the air and inspect it together with you, explaining things, pointing out things. It's also fascinating as well, getting under your own car. Ferraris of modern day age typically have very flat floors. They are concealed for aerodynamic efficiency, and to get under there and see all of that aeroflow working is super cool. Now then, let's head back through and show you the wonder room, this place is, and I guess this is no coincidence, it feels like an F1 <laughs> themed area. I mean, it's so beautiful. Behold where the magic happens. Now, one of the things that struck me immediately as I walked in this room is this thing here, <laughs> this beautiful array of plants, uh, is not necessarily uh, synonymous with a service bay, but what's really interesting and really important is the corporate identity of the interior theme of this workshop it has almost an identical feel to the actual factory back in Maranello in Italy. Why I say that is Ferrari pride themselves in the factory, in their working environment, to try and make it as organic and natural as possible for all of the employees there. And a big part of that is fitting out effectively natural foliage and trees. So when you walk around the factory, between each production stage and lining the halls are beautiful trees juxtaposed against the robots and people who are handcrafting these incredible cars. Now then, just before we show you over there, I mentioned the RFID chips earlier. These white panels up there, these are the arrays which track the progress of each car. So when a car is in its bay, the RFID is talking to that panel there, and that is constantly relaying to the team what stage of progress the car is in. Very cool indeed. Anyway, if you think that's cool, check this out. Behold, where the real magic happens. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is one of the world's largest Ferrari service centers. And now we're in this space, I'm sure you can get a feel as to why. There are 36 bays dedicated 
to servicing cars. And speaking of servicing cars, check this out. We casually, the first car we land on just so happens to be a La Ferrari. Now, one thing is really important to mention here, the building itself is actually really quite advanced. There's a massive solar array on the roof here, making it incredibly efficient. And small details which you might not consider at first, but every car that comes in here for a service has a wash. And with that water, there is inherent waste. So this service center recycles over 80% of the water, which they wash these beautiful cars with to help conserve their environmental footprint, which in itself is very cool indeed. Speaking of very cool indeed, this SF90 is something to behold. Look at this. They had these are our extractor fans for the exhaust. And there is a chief ninja engineer extraordinaire in there with his laptop plugged in, diagnosing the car, making sure it's all up to scratch. Very cool indeed. Fun fact, there's actually two black La Ferraris in here. Let's go and see it. So honestly, since we've been here in Dubai, uh, I seem to generally find a moment of every day where I'm slightly in awe of the whole setup. And this is just the epitome of that. One of the world's largest, one of the world's most beautiful Ferrari service centers. And uh, we're really privileged to show you this car behind us. This Monza SP1, super rare, uh, has actually only just arrived here. And I'm gonna say it again, if you're a regular subscriber of the channel, <laughs> <laughs> I really am not sure the camera's doing this justice, but there's something about the SP1 in itself because it is such a unique driving experience, or should I more appropriately say individual driving experience, but the specification of this is absolutely stunning. Also, there is an atelier distressed like vintage leather on this seat. I think the front of the car is a Zuro Dino in blue. And then we have this contrast yellow stripe, which splits directly across this massive engine bay. And now I'm not sure the name of this gray, but it's a sort of flat battleship gray. And on the side here, we have hand painted shields. Check these out. The hand painted shields are 50% larger than your standard Ferrari badge. Um, the significance of it is if you want a badge, the actual wing of the car is different because they have to recess the badge physically in the panel of the car. Whereas on the uh, painted car, they need a smooth surface. So depending on if you choose for badge or painted, you will literally have a different style of front fender. What a thing this is. Well, this is very cool. What I really like about this place is the broad spectrum or genre of cars. So it's not only the modern stuff, but we also have the classic stuff. So I just so happen to be standing in front of two Testarossas having their service. And at the back over there, there is an F40 and a Dino. And then casually, there's the other black La Ferrari. So the full spectrum of cars here is awesome. And it's nice to see them being able to take care of everything from one of the latest, greatest, high revving, naturally aspirated V12 hybrids in the LAF to the old school stuff in the Testarossas to the really old school stuff in the beautiful Dino and the F40. Now then, as far as cool goes, we have a black Enzo here. Now a red Enzo is cool, but a black Enzo, that's just a different ball game. <laughs> Look at that. There's something about a black Enzo, just makes it extra special. Now, if you think this room's cool, uh, I've just been told that there is quite literally a secret basement here. And this here is a car lift that is usually reserved for carrying cars, but today it's gonna be carrying you down to something really special. I think I underestimated the size of this place. <laughs> Without exception, definitely one of the world's largest Ferrari service facilities. So this basically what I'm told is no one films down here. Uh, and I can kind of see why we've been granted special permission. Speaking of special, look at the spec on this F12. <laughs> look at this. It looks like a golf blue on gold wheels, completely blacked out tints. This is the sort of thing that we can't get away with in the UK and cars out here often look way better because the profile of the car is just a silhouette because they get to black out the windows. But sadly, we can't do that in the UK. But what a spec, this is amazing. Look at this F12 here. This is a gorgeous paint, absolutely stunning. And again, with the awesome tints. I mean, it just goes on and on. And it's, look at those lights that just came on. I didn't even see, so that there's another layer behind that wall. 
That is a beautiful spec, 812. I love that. Another 812. So we've got a Grigio Silverstone 812 here. And that might be an Argento Nürburgring, which is basically a primary silver. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Do you remember upstairs when I was saying if you choose a painted shield versus a physical shield, the wings are completely different. So on this one, badge a bit smaller and literally inlaid into the wing versus this painted shield right here. The wing, wing is flat because you have the paint on it and the size of the shield is physically much larger. So when you spec that option on the sheet, not only is that disproportionately more expensive, but there is a reason for it because there's hand painting going on there and a physical change in body panel. Looks very cool. All right, if any of you guys have been following the early journeys of our adventures in Dubai, uh, we recently headed on to the new Yas Marina circuit layout in a Ferrari 458 Speciali, and it pulled up my heartstrings so hard that uh, I had to give Charles and Dean a call. Actually stepped out of the car uh, to find out what sort of finance deal they might be able to, to offer us on uh, one of these back home. So uh, hopefully uh, Simon comes back to me and quotes me happy because that would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, look at this. This is a British racing green on chocolate tan interior. This is hiding away down here. Imagine this outside in the Dubai sunshine. The whole spec would pop incredibly well. These lights aren't bad, but there's something about a British racing green Ferrari. That's special. All right, we've got a few more classics here. We've got a 355 over there, 430 Spider. There's a lot of F12s around. This is a special corner. We've got a black on tatten 550 Marinello in manual, front engine V12. And then just to the side of that, we have a Scuderia 16M, which at the time was their highest performing convertible supercar. And the significance of the 16M is that the car was built to celebrate 16 uh, constructor championships so, so the m is like 16 manufacture very special thing ultimately based on a 430 scooter rear and still to this day if you like a single clutch box this is one of the best single clutch boxes ever made this is cool so this is the launch spec or at least on the exterior of the car this is the launch spec of how the uh, speciali launched which has the nart stripe which is an abbreviation for the north american racing team stripe uh, that blue actually isn't flat it's a beautifully uh, flecked, almost triple layer blue, similar to uh, Tour de France blue. And this one on the interior is red on red on red on red on red spec. Very cool and very nice to see it. And it actually has a lot of memories fl flooding back for me when I see a Speciali in this configuration because I went to the launch of this car in Frankfurt when it first debuted. Somewhat of a game changer, that thing. All right, so this whole room special, but this particular corner is where the magic is really kept. So, you know, those two LaFerraris upstairs, there's three down here, and there's also a, a 512M here. So M stands for Modificata. So it was effectively an evolution of the Testarossa platform. I heard in North America, there was only 75 examples of these. I'm not sure how many there were worldwide, but the fact that it's here, braced between two uh, LaFerraris probably tells you all you need to know as to how special it is. Black scooter here on gold wheels. This is a setup. We've got a Challenge Stradale parked next to a 430 Scuderia, both black. Okay, granted that's got the, the uh, gold wheels, gold stripes, but this car has the full black spec, the Cavallino, the Challenge Stradale script, the Ferrari script, everything is blacked out on this car. Very cool indeed. I think it's also important at this stage to mention, and you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is storage. Um, remarkably, this isn't storage. These are cars which, Ferrari service center to Dubai have received in to go for their service. This is a temporary holding pen. Temporary holding pen. So come back in a week or so and there'll be a complete new cycle of Ferraris. These will have gone upstairs, gone through, back to clients. They just do it differently here, don't they? Not only here to show you around this remarkable service center, we're also here to collect our very own car for the next three days, which just so happens to be this beautiful 
Portofino M, which we will be sharing with you over the next few videos for some very exciting Ferrari content taking place over at Yas Marina. As always, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao. Let me write. I just took a test and yeah, I rolled the dice. Yeah, women, I'll be bad because the folk was nice. Yeah, I must have made it. They say overnight. I just hit the double with the dab pie. I'm in the slaughter in New England, but I'm dying high. Now I'm not it for the music when I can't stop. Hang around me anyway to ask me. Ask a favor what a shout out to ask me. Ready, they ain't take a risk, but want the outcome. Then ask it how go. Okay, so just a little end piece for this video. Uh, I've just noticed that this has 39 kilometers on the clock. So when I say this is a new Ferrari, it is box fresh, and this is actually the very first time that anyone's taken it on a journey. Those are running, in fact, they're not even running miles. Those are test miles from the factory. So those, some of those are around the, the uh, factory grounds, maybe a lap of uh, Fiorano and on the aeroplane. A petty life. All those nights I lay to wake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a body like I said I might. This is better life.